In the Galar region, it's very common for people and Pokemon to work together. Many corporations and universities request the help of Pokemon through what are known as Pokejobs. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Friend, and today we're going to answer the question, what are Pokejobs? Where to access them, and how they will directly impact the way we play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. First off, this information is coming from the official Pokemon Sword and Shield website. I'm gonna have a link in the description to the site so you guys can check it out. Also, do note that I'm shooting this video in August, way before the games are out and available, so I can deep dive into exactly how the Poke Jobs work in game and get my experience on it firsthand. Right now, I'm just giving my impressions on reading the article that's up on the official Pokemon website. So do take that into consideration. Also, if there is updated information after this video has been posted and have gone live, let's talk about it in the comment section below to not only keep me updated, but to keep anyone else watching this video and may not know there is new information out there. So again, jumping over to the official Pokemon website. It says you can check available Poke Jobs at the Rotom? 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 I think they're talking about the computer. The computer is controlled by Rotom in this game, as you can see in this image, in Poke Centers. You will also be able to send Pokemon from your boxes directly to any job you accept. Okay, this tells us something. This tells us that we're ditching the Pokemon box system that was inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, which made it very easy to just kind of cheat through the game. Not cheat, but like if your Pokemon died or whatever, you always had the boxes on you. And that meant you had access to every Pokemon you ever caught, but just by simply pressing start anywhere you were in the game and just switching out your Pokemon. I do think they didn't allow that during the Elite Four, but that's not the case. Now it looks like we're going back to the original boxes where you had to go to the Rotom, where you have to go to the PC inside of a Poke Center in order to have access to your boxes. Do note that we do have a Rotom phone in the game. Also, we have a Rotom bike and stuff like that. So who knows, maybe we have a Rotom box that we have in our book bag that we can do it and can switch out as of right now. It's looking like we're going back to the OG stuff that we got that we last seen inside of the Ultra games, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, which I'm fine with. I like the OG, put your stuff in the box. You can't change it. And if you want to change it, you go to the Pokemon Center. I like that way better than what we had in Let's Go. The boxing system in Let's Go is terrible. It's just one huge box. Everything's all convoluted. Yes, you can organize it, but who wants to do that? I, I want my stuff organized in a way that it's, I mean, boxes, uh, boxes are boxes, but let's move on. <laughs> this Pokemon you send will help out with the job and the experience will even help them grow. So that means they're gaining experience while on jobs. That's cool. There are many different Poke jobs available. You'll find that certain Pokemon types are suited for specific jobs too. Helping out for a long time or sending as many Pokemon as you can on a job can also net some good results. You might even receive some rare items. The fact that they're saying that we're gonna receive some rare items means that it's probably gonna be a way to get exclusive items through certain jobs. It says that certain Pokemon types are suited for a specific job, giving us an example here where it says, construction needs power, power needs muscle. Please send Pokemon with big muscles. So you're gonna be sending over, you know, Machoke, Machamp and stuff like that like that geo dudes and stuff if they are in the game so it's cool we we see a whole bunch of different type of pokey jobs here we have construction to protect our investments to help with cooking oh my god that cooking cake pokemon it says help want it on our farm this is pretty cool we got a whole bunch of a slew of different ways to send pokemon to go to work basically to have jobs I like this idea because it does send them on like a little quest while we're doing the main quest and they're getting experience. Who knows how much experience they get from like a day's worth of work. But again, this is cool for, to leave Pokemon in your box and you want to switch up your team. You, you know, that Pokemon doesn't have to just be in the box, not earning any experience at all because you could be sending them on jobs periodically and they can they could be getting upgrades they could be getting stuff so this is cool i like this job system it reminds me of like 
the cave system and Pokey Pegalico, I think it was called in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and Sun and Moon, where you sent the Pokemon in caves to get exclusive items. This is also gaining them experiences, which is cool. And it's done doing a box. We don't have to go to a weird, stupid island and upgrade the island and stuff like that. So I like this idea. It says there are many places that are requesting the help of Pokemon, including corporations and university. You already said that. It says you will choose the Pokemon you want to send to the Poke job from your boxes. You said that already. It says each Pokemon sent to the Poke job will come back having grown from the experience. You said that already. Look at Rotom. Rotom looks like like a straight up Geodude in this image. Um, it says there will they will receive rewards like EX points or base points, base points, and how much they will get depends on the factors like how long have they been working and their types. Hmm, okay, okay, base points. So that, that means they're gonna be able to increase their stat points? I don't, I don't understand what they mean by base points. Are CP making a return in this game? Um, it says this Rotom, or Ro well, I'm saying it completely wrong. It's not Rotom. You know what? I see Rot the the R O T, and I immediately say Rotom immediately because I know that's how you pronounce that Pokemon's name. But it's not this. It's definitely something else. It says your new helper in Pokemon centers with a ton of features. You can access jobs from Rotom, and you can find at every. Pokemon Center around the Galar region. Rotom may have different features aside from your Poke Jobs too. You can access your boxes and have a go at the Lotto ID. Oh, they're bringing in the Lotto ID back. I remember that. It's like um, certain po every Pokemon you can catch has a different ID number to them. So I believe it was like every day in the game where there was like a uh you talk to a npc inside of the game and they would draw a random number and if that number matched you had a chance of winning rare items and stuff like that so that was pretty cool they bring in that back it says you can find rotom at any pokemon center in galar region it also features a lot of id system okay so it's pretty cool so this is pretty much all the information we have so far about pokey jobs and again, I think this is pretty cool. It's a great way to implement what we had in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon inside of the Pokepelago inside of the boxes where it kind of makes more sense where you're going to be sending Pacific Pokemon to these Pacific jobs. They're going to earn experience while you're out earning experience with your main party. So, for example, if you caught somebody that you're not truly into but don't want them to be low level, if you do decide to put them on your team later, you know, they won't be super low level because you've been actually sending them to work and to jobs and stuff like that. So that, again, is pretty cool because they're going to be able to earn experience points outside of just doing battles and you just grinding through. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to get my hands on this game to try out Poke Jobs to see how they would impact us more. But this is definitely going to impact us by when we create teams, we're going to have a, you know, probably someone that is going to be in rotation in and out of the poker job, in and out of the boxes due to the fact that we're going to be able to send them on Pacific jobs. If you catch a Machoke or Machamp or something like that, and then you have them on your team because they're great in a high level, but then you also want to send them on a Pacific job because they can also earn experience points doing the job. You know, you're going to be able to switch your Pokemon back and forth, and I think that's going to impact the way we switch up teams and pick people or pick Pokemon to be on our teams and stuff like that, which could be very, very cool and very, again, making this feel like a fleshed out full RPG. Now that's going to be it. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we went over in this video about Poke Jobs. Are you thinking you're going to be even using Poke Jobs or this is something that you're going to just kick to the curve and never even try when you get this Pokemon Sword in Shield games? I think it's very intuitive. I know I'm going to be diving a ton of time into Poke Jobs and making sure that I'm using it to the best of my ability so I can maximize my Pokemon experiences that are in the Pokemon box, which to me, I'm glad. Also, let me know your thoughts on the Pokemon boxes returning back to the OG state after what we had in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.
like always guys i'm daddy i'm a friend on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one